Hello everyone, we have a box from Bluefin here. And if you, for those that don't know, Bluefin is Bandai's American distributor. And they had a Comic Con special and I got on the website and did some ordering pretty quickly when I got the email. Because those sorts of things don't last very long. And I was right, as I was trying to order one thing and went away, when I went back the next day it was there again. This might be two orders in one box. Might just be one order, we don't know. And I got a nice big Dragon Ball thing here. And it's really nicely done. Yeah, this is really nicely done. Well, I didn't know this would be in there. Looks like it's got real cloth clothing, too. Interesting. Well, I know someone who will really like this. There's some stuff in here I didn't order. Oh, I did order this. One of my daughters is, yeah, that needs to be put aside. Hopefully she doesn't see this. This is only one order. Only one order, and I know it is. So my other order will come later. So I got another box coming. Woohoo! Love getting these boxes. All right, now, this is a freebie. They had freebies of these pocket edition kits if you bought anything Star Wars related. So I got the Jedi Starfighter since I didn't have that at all. Figured that would be fun. I don't, it's not going to be very big. So in painting that, it's probably give you stickers. Hopefully they give decals. Painting that would be fun. We can find out. We can open it and see. I'm just hoping my daughter doesn't see this video. Because, yeah, the first thing we pulled out was her present for her. Right, let's look. We have it open. Some serious plastic in here. That looks like stickers. That really looks like stickers and no decals. At least they're stickers. Some of the older ones didn't even have that. Yeah, the, the, the stickers could, may or may not be bad because the stickers on the blockade runner weren't too bad. And people were telling me there's ways to get them to lay down tight. So, yeah, I can't complain about that. That's free. Don't complain about free. This isn't the box I wanted to get today, but it is the box I got. And this probably has my address on it. Yep, shipping. Shipping label telling me what I ordered. And that they're in there and they shipped and how much I paid for everything. Okay. I didn't pay much for the Star Wars stuff. It was all on clearance sale. And I do have another box coming. I don't know when. And we will see. Let me pop these. This is the clear vehicle set. So all of these are clear. We have four of the pocket model kits. All clear. We have one here that's just waiting for me to get off my lazy butt and paint him. Ah, oh, one of the guns got bent. Well, let me be careful with that and... Maybe it'll get fixed. Well, the guns got bent on him. Uh, good thing is the color paint I use for him is going to be used on the Strike Freedom Gundam, so he will finally get his paint coat. This, these probably won't get painted at all. Eh, I will decide whether I'm going to build them, yes or no, in a little while. These are more of a collector thing. If I do build them, they're just going to be put together clear. So there's the Falcon, and if you've got any of the Pocket Edition kits, you know what these are. They're just clear this time. It'd be fun to put an LED in each of them, though. Just to light each one up. We've got a pretty good sticker set. Uh, this is the X-Wing. Which X-Wing is this? I don't know which X-Wing this comes with. It gets lots of different scales on them, though. The wings open and close on the X-Wing. It looks like it's the traditional X-Wing and not one of the... It's Pose. Oh, I get two. There's two. There's Pose and the Blue Squadron. There's actually five model kits in here. Or four. 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 Just two X-Wings. Pose and Blue. That explains the stickers down here. And that explains what I'm looking at in here. There are two of these things. Okay, so there's one. And then we get over to here. I have decals. These are water slide decals. Funny, this has water slide decals and the other has stickers. Those are definitely water slide decals. And I don't see stickers on this one at all. And here we have the ATM-6. I'm saying that right. Yes. 
is on here and another X-Wing. All right, so there you go. Just to clear about the vehicle model set. And again, it was on sale. This was 20 bucks for this. And shipping was $6 for the whole box. And this was free. So for 20 bucks, I got these two sets. Something fun to do on a weekend. Yep. And I got a Christmas present for someone. And I need to hide this really badly. Which I'm not going to show on camera again. In case she finds the video. Well, she probably will. Have a good one, everyone. She won't know what it is. Hello, everyone. Here's the second box from Bluefin. It came today. It was a bit late. No announcement on shipping. And they've done that to me numerous times, which really irritates me. And this had tracking, and this had signature required. And the delivery driver from FedEx did not do signature required. He just left it on the front porch, rang the doorbell, and ran. Which really also irritates me more. Keeping the address hidden. Let's see what's inside this one. Shipping invoice. Ah, it didn't give me the same book as last time. It gave me a different book. We'll look at this in a minute. Last time we got a Dragon Ball book. This time we got a Tashimi Nations book. Okay, again, this was Comic-Con specials. I got the First Order TIE Fighter set for free. And we'll take a look at what's inside that in a minute. We got BB-8 and Dio Diorama set. This is something that should probably get built fairly quickly because I got little ones like Miri's trying to get up here and see what everything is. There. And this is the last one that was in the box. It's the hologram version of R2-D2. And again, these were Comic-Con specials. I think I paid $15 for this. This was eight and this was free. That's why I grabbed them all. Okay, and this one they sold out of numerous times. So I just got kind of lucky with this one. All right, so let me put this box down. Miri's up here. She wants to look at everything. Right, Miri? She kind of replaced BB. BB isn't interested in this stuff anymore. You're more interested in that one than R2-D2, are you? You remember this in the movie? These? Okay, do we actually see? We see part of Miri in the camera. Hey. You can't really bunny, see your bunny. I don't bunny. know where your bunny is. I don't know where your bunny is. There it is. I'm going to go get my bunny. Okay. While you get the bunny, I'm going to open this. PB-8 doesn't look that bad to put together. And I think you can put this together and do just a little bit of weathering on it to make it look good. Okay. But where's the little Some clear parts in there. Where's the little guy is in here too, Miri. Just relax. Get some pieces of him here everywhere. Okay. And then we got this. The little guy, he has some green on him, so these are definitely parts of the little guy. These are probably parts of the little guy as well. Has a diorama wall and floor. <clears throat> and you can tell it's not a very big set because these are not very, the walls and the floor is not very big. BB-8, he is not going to be anywhere near as big as the BB-8 right here, the Sphero version. Okay. No, leave him alone. He's charging. He's charging. Okay, and then we got the instruction set here. Uh, assembly instructions, that's really nothing. That's just giving you advice on clipping parts off sprue. Here's the assembly directions. It shows you the diorama. Put the walls together. Okay, here's the little guy. He hasn't got a whole lot to do to get together, I'm sure. The bad part will be his little things on the back of his head. You're going to have to watch them when you put them on. And you can see all the other little steps there. BB-8, however, is going to be a lot of fun to put together, I think. Okay, hold on here. Because he's a sphere. And yeah, look at all these little parts that go around the core of BB-8 and then you build the sphere around it. Yeah. No, you're not going to play with that. Do you even know what that is? Do you? No. No. Something? Something? That's not a something. Well, leave that alone. It's already broken. This is why I don't like you up here. You start grabbing everything. There. What it's is it? It's metal. Yeah, it's metal. What is it? Barbatos. That's not Barbatos. Mm -hmm. That's unicorn. Unicorn? Yeah. The one, it looks like the one you built. A little bit like sea packs. Here, let me sh get something here so I can show you. And then you'll know. Okay? 
Okay. Uh, this is probably not something I should be getting out right now, but I got it. Oh no, there went things on the ground. Knew I shouldn't have gotten it. This is what that is. Mm hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like him. It does. It does it doesn't because the silver. Look at all the pretty stuff inside the box. Lots of pretty inside that box. And it glows. And it glows. All right, let me do this. Speaking of glows, let me do this one real quick on camera. We're taking too much time on Unicorn Gundam. That's not what we're here for. We're here for the hologram version of R2-D2. Yeah, you got your bunny. Sorry, if there's a fight between bunny and Unicorn Gundam, I think most everyone's going to say Unicorn Gundam wins the fight. Is it kind of won its major fight? Let's look at this. This is one of the clear edition Star Wars. Whoa, look at the blue in that box. I bet the camera really doesn't pick that up, but it kind of glows, doesn't it, Miri? Mm -hmm. The camera is not picking that up properly at all. That is an impressive blue color, Bandai. I really must say that. An extremely impressive blue color. And the camera is just not picking that up. It's about the same blue glow as the LEDs up above it. Hang on, Mary. You, taking, that's a Godzilla. Yeah. You were taking up too much room here, Mary. Good bunny and unicorn fighting. All right, this is if you built one of the R2D2s, I'm sure this is no different than them. It's just every single part is clear blue. Mary, hold on. Every single part's gonna be clear blue as you put this together. It even looks like it has the standard Star Wars bases. Has an assortment of arms and legs. We'll look at the box in a second. Arms and attachments. Whoa! We have the front, left, back, and right side here Whoa. on the directions. Let's take a look at the box. Let me get the box lid off the floor because there's not much room on my desk right now. Because if you can't see, you can't see him. I've got two versions of Char's Zaku being built. All right, here we go. It's showing the front back on the box. The leg does come out of the center so he can roll. What it's not showing, and it's not showing it at all, is that there are accessories that come with it. All the little arms that can pop out come with it. So you can pop arms out. All right, so there we go. The hologram version of R2-D2. Which I didn't think I was going to get my hands on. Didn't even know it existed. And then I saw it on the Comic Con site and went, I want that. Okay. And the bunny and unicorn are fighting. All right. Now we got the little pocket TIE fighter set, box scale. And I was wondering what was going to go on with the heat panels. You can see they are not colored, there are no stickers for them. So if you want to build this and have it look right, you are going to have to paint this. There's no other way around it. The only real stickers on here are for the red and around the windshield. That's it. So any other coloration you want, you're going to have to paint. <clears throat> it does it have a stand? Yes, it has. It probably has two stands. Does it have the little tags that say what they are? No. Some kids have them, some don't. Usually the big box sets, like the clear sets, have the little tags that go on the stands. So they say but the directions are always inside the box on these. They look like they've got really good details on them. It's just that you're going to have to paint and mask those heat panels. One last thing we're going to look through. Let's look through this booklet that came. Let me put Unicorn back where he always lives. And Miri got some metallic pens and was painting a bunny. Now she's painting a butterfly. Excuse me. Let's see what this is. It's a promotional booklet, but it's really high quality. Showing Miri, 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 Miri. Showing some of the Dragon Ball Z figures. Okay. And they got some new ones. They've got this guy. I don't I forgot his name. I'm bad. Then over here we got the Gundam Universe ones. These are are they the metal builds? I don't know. Let me read and see what it says. Miri. No, no, no. They got a Barbatos, a wing. Death Scythe, 
It says a new series aimed at the worldwide fans. Okay, so these are new figures. They are not model kits. So they're probably going to be about 100 bucks each if I know Bandai. Over here on this side, we have some sort of Chibli figures. I probably said that wrong. Someone will fix me. Some cute little figures of different things. Fate Grand Order, Demon Slayer, and I don't know what all these are. I'm bad. On this page, we got Sailor Moon. Okay, which everyone can see. Over here, that looks like One Piece, and it is. There are figures. I never watched that much One Piece. I saw about 150 episodes. You know, that's like one tenth of it. Saint Sienna. I never really could get into that. It was just strange to me. Street Fighter. They seem to be pushing Street Fighter all the time on their website. Evangelon, which I probably said wrong. I don't remember anything having four arms in Evangelon. And case closed. And then we get over here to the Marvel stuff. And the Godzilla Godzilla. from the movie. Yeah, I know. You like Godzilla. Yeah, those guys. This King Ghidorah is expensive. Look at this one. Yeah, it's a burning one. They had a blue burning version on the Premium Bandai website. And, well, he was a couple hundred dollars. I didn't buy him. All right. I'm going to go. Been working on a high-grade kit. This gun is not typical for a high-grade kit. Not at all. He's missing an arm and stuff. I'm, I'm not going to move the camera. We're going to... Well, I can do this. And he's over here. This is the real grade. That's the high grade. Almost done. I've been doing videos. I build it and talking about it. The video will be up probably in a while. All right. Uh, we're going to go before Miri takes over the world.